Welcome to the irrigation station. Today we're going to be talking about building your irrigation toolbox. It's key to a successful irrigation season is to have a full toolbox. The first thing we want to have in our toolbox is our irrigation continuum. This is something that we're going to reference continually through these series of videos as we talk about different practices such as orchard water requirement, irrigation system performance, applied water, soil moisture, and plant water status. So the next thing that I like to have in my toolbox is my soil auger. I prefer a ratcheting soil auger, but you can also use a push probe or the back saver auger, whatever your preference is. I also mark mine out in six inch intervals all the way down to 36 inches. This helps with that process of understanding how deep you are on your ground truth. The next thing I have is the NRCS estimating soil moisture by feel. We're gonna be going in further depth of this later on, but this is going to be a key thing. Everybody should have one of these in your toolbox. This will help you better understand and better estimate available soil moisture. Now, when we look at irrigation system performance, some of the things we're gonna to need to have are some cups. You're gonna use this to catch water out of the emitters. And then you're also gonna need a graduated cylinder. This is a 500 milliliter. You can get them in 250s or 500s or 1000s. I like the 500 just to measure what that output is. Don't forget that you're gonna need a drip line punch if you're using micro irrigation or drip emitters. So your pressure gauge, I use a zero to 100, you can use a zero to 60, you just need to make sure it's within the range of your system. And then a pitot tube. You can order this online or find it at your local irrigation supply store. The other thing that we wanna make sure we have in there is a pair of vice grips and some goof plugs. This is important to plug the hole that we just punched when we checked our pressures tape measure. I also like to have a nice razor blade. This comes in handy when we talk about using the pressure chamber. Next, when we look at plant water status, one of the key tools is a pressure chamber. I prefer the gas pressure chamber over the pump, but that's just my own personal preference. So there's a few tools you'll need to be successful with the pressure chamber. The first one is a razor blade, as well as these foil baggies. Make sure that you have the almond baggies because there's different bags for different crops. The next thing is my flagging tape. This is important throughout the season to make sure that we test the same trees over and over for consistency, as well as a magnifying glass. I use a 10X jeweler's loop, but you can use any magnifying glass that you're comfortable with. All of these tools are going to be crucial throughout our irrigation scheduling to achieve the most efficient use of our water. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Almond Board of California, your local farm advisor, or your pest control advisor to help you through this process. Don't forget also to log in to sustainablealmondgrowing.org and create your own free irrigation schedule for the season.